Adrienne Stewart remembers the last time she saw her daughter. I said to her, I said, come and give me a hug, because you know, we never, you know, this might be the last time I, we see each other, you know, so we hugged each other and she laughed and she saw mom. A few days later, Stewart's boyfriend would make a frantic 911 call. Hello? Hello? Hey, please come to Hazel Wood apartment, please. What's going on? My daughter came and my girl's bleeding to death, please. Prosecutors say the Lady Raider basketball player was stabbed to death by her roommate, Shanterica Madden. She did say that she checked on Tina Stewart to see if she was dead. Not to help her, but to see if she had died yet. She also took steps to present, prevent anyone else from helping Tina Stewart. Officials say Stewart had called the apartment office to complain about Madden. They said that their roommate was smoking marijuana and that she wanted somebody sent up there to make her roommate stop. And as a result of receiving that telephone call, what, if anything, did you do? I called my senior community assistant um, to get our courtesy officer's number to have him come up there and resolve the situation. The courtesy officer told Madden to dispose of what appeared to be a marijuana roach. Defense attorneys say after he left, the roommates got into a fight and that Madden killed Stewart in self-defense. Miss Madden saying, please stop, please stop hitting me. Miss Stewart didn't, and she stabbed her. We got to fighting. There's blood everywhere, but I didn't do it. Prosecutors say it was a calculated crime that Madden tried desperately to cover up. The murder of Tina Stewart was murder in the first degree.